Welcome to Let's Play Gran Turismo 6 Part 47. And uh, I bought me a little Celise. And I'm really hoping that this doesn't go awful, because my last experience with an Elise in a GT game with a wheel. <sighs> we're doing British lightweights. That's what we're doing for this segment. So, limited to lightweight British cars. I could have went with a TVR, but I decided to go with the Lelis. Lelis, Lelis, because I'm a piece of shit. And, yeah. So let's go to race one at Madrid. Because, you know, British. Spain. What? No, no brands hatch. Which is weird. Hey, whatever. Oh, Gator M7 starting up front. Damn. It's gonna be interesting. And as expected, lots of Lotuses. And Vauxhall VX220. Alright, well, let's do this. Three laps around Madrid. Wonder how awful this is gonna go. We're about to find out! Yes, I was referring to the Top Gear Release Challenge. God, fuck that thing. Anyways. No, I was not forced to use the Elise, I just chose to use it. Because I hate myself now. Uh, anyways. Let's race! That was a really long, uh... Like... Yeah, rolling start. So, off we go. Excuse me, other Elise, that's in also in deep purple. Very good. <clears throat> Excuse me. So many Elises. Oh shit. Let's just slam into the back of them. That's a good idea. So I don't know why I touched the brake there. I'm fucking just all kinds of fucked up right now. And just slamming in the back of everybody. Cause that's good driving, yes? Also, I'm much already having a much, much easier time driving this thing than the fucking Elise from the Top Gear test in GT5. <sighs> Anyways, this thing is much, much more easy to fucking drive. Well, I just ate my own words. Ate him like the fucking fat piece of shit I am. All right. So at high speeds, this thing is still an oversteer fucking menace. Good to know. That, that, that much... Yeah. Luckily, that's the only turnaround on this track that's like that, so... Should be okay for the most part, as long as I don't fucking do that again, just nose it into the wall. Let's get around this opal speedster, haha -ha memes. Oh, big slide. A little deep entry into the hairpin, but we made it. Alright, six seconds behind Costa. Or Costa. Or. <laughs> Stuff. Tell you what, this thing has some good brakes, probably because it only, you know, weighs next to nothing. Speedster is ugly. Yeah, I like it. Three point six. Oh fuck. Time to get around the other 190 at least. Just like mine. Yeah, rubber band engage. Excuse me, I need to be ahead of you. Alright, 
final lap, only one second behind the catering. Because catering, bro. He's in the lead. Now we just need to hold the lead. Which shouldn't be too difficult. As long as I can keep this car under control, that is. Uh, I love a car who can, that I can actually, like, you know, brake. Yes, a Lotus 7. Because all British lightweight cars are Lotuses! Holy shit, okay. Alright, round the roundabout. Now we just got the really fucking shitty chicane. God, the chicane is so tight. And there we go. Race one complete. Alright. And because I couldn't get to this cause earlier since I was racing, where are you? There we go. Alright, so, one by 1 1.6 over the uh, catering, not bad. Now we just gotta wait on everyone else. If that Marcos can even make it, that is. Can the Marcos make it? Da 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 da. Will he make it? Vote for Trump, I'm sorry that you're a dumbass. Haha, <laughs> anyways. It's probably being a meme, but yeah. Come on, Kulani, you can make it. I believe in you. not gonna make it, is he? Nope, he didn't make it. Okay. What a failure. A damn failure. Anyways, back up to 900k. And off to race two we go. So, yeah. Let's do this. To Rome for three laps. Because once again, British Lightweight Series. Going to Italy. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's not right. I don't know. Anyways. Yeah, I've never looked at the pit lane in Rome until just now. Looks a little weird with all those, like, you know, street lines and shit. Oh boy, the rocket's starting in second. We got the light car rocket in this race. It's all to make things interesting. Here we go. Well, second attempt. Wouldn't be if I didn't spin the car out in turn one, but eh, whatever. Pretty sure the time I lost from that spin is about how far behind the rocket I finished. Cause uh, that rocket's a fucking rocket. It's fast. It's real fast. So I think I uh, should uh, probably stop driving like absolute shit. Cause yeah. Also the uh... The Top Gear memories are coming back because this track has higher speed turns and the oversteer is real. Hey, Emil. The oversteer is real, real, real. It's 
really real for real. How the fuck am I already in fourth? I just realized that. I've done half a lap and I'm in fourth place already. Goddamn. Careful, careful. Don't want to oversteer. Don't want to get oversteer. Oh shit. Okay, we saved it. Under control. We are fine. Everything's just fine. Let's try to get a slipstream. Don't think I'm close enough to get a slipstream. Okay, this is an important turn because this is where I'm probably most likely to spin the car. Oh yeah, I need to watch that leafy video when I'm done streaming. Okay, we are in second place. All we have to do is catch the rocket. Oh boy. Constellation of Cancer is out in this chat. It really is. If this chat were a zodiac sign, it would be Cancer. That, uh, that went a lot smoother than expected. Considering how hard I was driving into that uh, last little section there, I was fully expecting a lot of uh, uh, oversteer. That's the word I'm thinking of. Yeah. That. Oh, shit. Careful. 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 No sudden movements now. But if the good people don't chat because of the cancer, then how can I have a good chat? Damn it. Anyways. Rocket. Right in front of me. But he needs to be behind me. And I have a very little amount of time to make that happen. So... I'm gonna have to do a stupid dive here. Oh, please, car. Work with me. Okay, it cooperated. I'm undoubtedly gonna have to uh, mirror drive here. That feeling can't hear the engine from this angle. Okay, there we go. We won. Only took two tries. That. Yeah. So. That went pretty well. That went pretty well. Beat the rocket by just under a tenth of a second. Woo! No, we wait on everyone else to finish. Cause that'd be cool. That'd be cool, yo. I don't know what I'm saying. Help me. Fucking Humphrey in the Europa finishing Satan behind. Satan! Uh, P Cars is on my LP list, but I don't know if I will LP it. Depends on, uh... Also, I've played it, so... I know whether or not it's boring as fuck, and it's not really boring, it's just very buggy. Very buggy. Come on, Pedersen. There we go, minute ten behind, alright. You did it. You made it! Congration! Alright, back up to 941,000 credits. So, unfortunately, we're not going to get back up to a mil in this segment, but we'll be close. We'll be close. 
So. Let's go to our last race at fucking Matterhorn. Oh god. Oh god. This track with this car. I'm in for some shit, aren't I? I think I'm in for some shit. This is gonna be an experience. And the rocket is starting up front. Oh boy. Welp. There's only one thing to do, and that's try. So let's try. You know, I'm not sure how I spun the car there. I did F, like... There is at least like three instances where the car should have been under control. And yet it still spun. I fucking... I, I don't even know. I don't even know. Oh well. Attempt three, go. Let's try and make it out of turn one this time. Excuse me. Excuse me. Andreasen. Much more, uh, stable this time. Oh my god, so many cars. Okay, careful. Smooth steering inputs, not too much steering inputs. Alright, might actually have a chance this time. Oh, hey, arrows here. Alright, we are uh, in the top five, bro. Oh, careful. Okay, saved it. Excuse me, pardon me. Oh, God. Cut the track, God damn it. Okay, we have survived lap one. Now, how far behind the rocket are we? 7.5, that's actually less than I was expecting. I was expecting at least 10 seconds. Oh, we're sliding. Being very careful with throttle input. Okay. Make it. Alright. Being very cautious there, because I wasn't sure if I could make that turn full throttle or not. Couple more releases to pass, and then we get to chase down the rocket. Try to get around Patel here. Also, you should probably stay in fourth gear for that. Going go karting this weekend? Cool. Wish I could go go karting. No. Well, oh, not allowed to have fun. Oh, you motherfucker! Damn it. That was my fault. I just barely missed the uh, the lane there. Alright, come on Juarez. There we go, round Juarez. Hold it steady, hold it steady. Slight decrease in the radius coming off the turn, but we still made it. Alright, four seconds behind path. Just gonna lift here because that was a bad entry. Should be able to get them in probably the final couple corners. As long as I, you know, keep my car under control over this. That little crest fucking kink. Alright, gonna have to get him in the last turn. Just 
Excuse me. Okay, I don't have to do a retard dive. Thank fuck. I hate doing retard dives. Okay, that was actually a lot smoother than I expected. And we finally win. So there we go. We beat the British Lightweight Challenge on all these not British tracks that we went to. Could, couldn't have won the Brands Hatch or Silverstone. No. Nope. No. Yeah, that Marcos is slow as fuck. He's definitely not making it to the line. Plus, it doesn't really help at all th th this very steep uphill section here. Like, very steep. <laughs> so I'm sure he's just fucking crawling up this hill. Come on, Ludwig. At least you can make it to the line. I know you can. I think you can. You better be able to, motherfucker. Hey, you made it. 54 seconds, and Colin's not gonna make it, so there's no point in waiting. That's just a given. Okay, well, there we go. This championship is down. And stuff. I don't know really what else to say, so, yeah. British Lights Weights complete. So there we go, another championship down, another segment done. So with that, stay tuned for more GT6.